today on Ag Etc. We're reporting from the 2018 Women Managing the Farm Conference. First up, Sandy Johnson with K-State Research and Extension gives us tips on how to start an AI program on your farm. Next, we learn all about the Kansas Agribility Program. We get some tips with dealing with lack of sleep. We meet one KSU master student helping to empower women in agriculture. And end with how one Super Bowl ad inspired one agricultural insurance agent to leave corporate life to tell the farm her story. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Yes, my name is Sandy Johnson. I'm an extension beef specialist for K-State Research and Extension located at Colby. Uh, today I want to visit with producers about starting an AI program for the first time. And I think one of the key things before we take on any venture like that, particularly where we may add some costs to our production system, is to have clear production goals. What are we going to do with this? Um, have a clear marketing endpoint, and we'll have the opportunity to use a lot of genetic tools, and so we need to understand how those tools work and how they apply to our situation. We don't want to be using something like a dollar beef index if we're selling calves at weaning. That's counterproductive to, to your operation. So make sure you have clear goals and understand how those genetic tools will help you achieve those goals. Uh, then you might want to think about what animals are you going to put in the AI program. It's always good to start simple and grow from there. You know, if we think about cows, heifers, and two-year-olds, they all come with different complications. Um, heifers are probably the easiest to breed because they don't have that calf with them. Um, the other advantage uh, to heifers is one of the biggest values of AI can be that high accuracy calving ease sire. So a very good place to leverage AI genetics if, if, that's, uh, if you raise your own replacements. Uh, then as we look at mature cows versus two-year-olds, sometimes we have more challenges getting those two-year-olds bred, but yet maybe helping them with a progestin in a synchronization program might help them uh, breed back earlier. So there's some trade-offs there in terms of the mature cows and the, and the two-year-olds. And looking at the calving distribution of those groups might help make some decisions. Uh, the next thing we might talk about is who is going to do that work. Are you going to go to AI school yourself or are you going to rely on uh, some other technician or your veterinarian to help you do that? Uh, certainly there's a number of AI schools we can direct you to. Um, there are also good technicians to do that. And you may want to think about using uh, someone to help you initially as you get used to it and then maybe, depending on the number of animals, start AIing on your own. Um, the more animals you inseminate, the better you get at it. And so sometimes that's a challenge in getting over that initial hurdle. And then the other thing we might talk briefly about is some tools that we might use if we want to implement an estrus synchronization program, particularly if we're bringing in somebody from outside, if we can schedule our AI, um, that can be very useful. So I want to direct you to, there's uh, some lists of recommended protocols that you will find at our beefrepro.info site or in ksubeef.org in all the major sire catalogs. There are recommended protocols, highly recommended for anybody starting the first time to select something off of that list. We also have a tool called the Estrus Synchronization Planner that essentially puts those protocols on a calendar for you. One of the most common problems, even for people that are experienced, is not getting the right uh, product on the right day because you, you go into the house, you pick something up, and you pick up the wrong thing, you're in a hurry, and it doesn't work that way. You got to have the right product on the right day and really follow those. Um, it's almost like a recipe apply it on this day and on this time. And when we talk about a 60 hour interval, uh, we want you a couple hours within that interval, not just sometime that day. So we have a lot of good resources to help you would also recommend our AppliedReproStrategies.com website with a number of good resources from past meetings and a lot of good reference material there.
Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn. For livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population, the farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. This segment brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Hey, I'm Ginny Sharp with Kansas AgriAbility, and I'm really excited to be here with Women Managing the Farm. And I want to tell you a little bit about our Kansas AgriAbility project. We um, are trying to promote success of farmers with disabilities by keeping them on the farm and helping them with funding, modifying equipment, and usually that's done with a farm assessment that then you need a way to pay for it. So that's kind of our purpose. Our partners are K-State, University, Southeast Kansas, Independent Living Center, and Assistive Technology for Kansas Project. I would do a farm visit, and I would actually sometimes just get in and ride with them for the day. I mean, it could take an hour, it could take six hours to get through their day and see where their barriers are, and of course listen to them and get their input because they kind of know what they need. It could be as simple as somebody with low vision that you need to color code their tools because maybe they have macular degeneration from aging, or um, you might need to just put some kind of cushioning on the handle of tools so they get a better grip, or it could be something as major as um, paraplegia and they need a way to get in their tractor or their combine, which would be a lift. And it might be something like um, they're having trouble with finances and I would hook them up with ag mediation. So yes, we have lots of resources and um, it might be something as simple as they need a, a captioned telephone because they can't hear and they wear hearing aids and they're still having trouble with a telephone. When I first started working with farmers, the goal was to train them to use computers and give them a desk job. And you don't do that with a farmer. You want to keep them on the farm. So I have seen a lot of positive turnaround with our program and farmers are way happier. I actually have several that um, we put lifts on combines, tractors. I have a new one that's in the process of getting a platform lift because he has Parkinson's. And we're um, right now found out that somebody in Kansas actually makes those lifts. Um, this individual I'm working with right now called me yesterday so excited to tell me he was getting a lift for his tractor and his combine and sometimes they only get one depending on um, who's purchasing it. So I really feel like um, we have a lot of positives from this program. A lot of your extension offices know about us, or they can call 1-800-526-3648 for Kansas AgriAbility. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Supply. Welcome to the Jerry Thomas Gallery and Collection where we feature my renowned artwork, frontier military, and Native American artifacts. In the painting behind me is Scouting the Trail. Two scouts overlook the Smoky Hill River Valley just north of the famous Monument Rocks which are internationally renowned as a column of 7th Cavalry parade north of the river. On this point, two scouts rode in a circle 
and there were 18 cartridges found up there and that meant that they usually were warning of impending danger and firing off their weapons. One of those weapons I feature in the gallery, a Spencer weapon, which we featured in the painting. Very unique and very honored to showcase this to you. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elk they just bagged, or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley. This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. I'm Susan Harris Broomfield from UNL Extension. And I'm excited to be here today at Women Managing the Farm Conference. Um, what I'm bringing to the ladies today is a program about sleep deprivation and not just the stats and not just why it happens, but how to deal with it. Um, a lot of times, you know, we, we hear about these issues, but we don't know what to do about it. So that's one of the main goals today is to give the ladies some tips and tricks on getting better sleep and just to have a, a good interactive um, program with them. So I've interviewed a lot of experts for this program and the one commonality uh, when I would ask every single one of them what's the, the one message you would give to my audience members as your best tip they would all say the same thing and that is keep a routine uh, especially always getting up at the same time every day. Um, it's important to, to try to go to bed at the same time but not nearly as important as getting up the same time every day, and not just getting up at the same time every day, but exposing yourself to light so that it resets your circadian rhythm. Um, it's telling your brain, hey, it's daytime, it's time to be awake. And then as the, the light goes down at the end of the day, then you, your body knows that it's time to sleep. So in the three minutes I have to talk about this, I can't possibly go through all of the tips and tricks, uh, but you can find them on our website, which is carney.unl.edu. Carney is spelled K-E-A-R-N-E-Y dot U-N-L dot E-D-U. And you will find my uh, tips and tricks list there um, and some other helpful information about just overall healthy living. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas. We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need, and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you. Welcome to the Jerry Thomas Gallery and Collection, where we feature my renowned artwork, frontier military, and Native American artifacts. In the painting behind me is Scouting the Trail. Two scouts overlook the Smoky Hill River Valley just north of the famous Monument Rocks, which are internationally renowned, as a column of 7th Cavalry parade north of the river. 
On this point, two scouts rode in a circle and there were 18 cartridges found up there and that meant that they usually were warning of impending danger and firing off their weapons. One of those weapons I feature in the gallery, a Spencer weapon, which we featured in the painting. Very unique and very honored to showcase this to you. Hi, I'm Randy. And I'm Paul from PFI. We would like to personally invite you to stop by PFI, home of Boot Daddies. PFI is America's Western store, covering over 50,000 square feet. Over 25,000 boots. Visit Saddle City with the largest selection of saddles and tack anywhere. A huge selection of hats at Big Spur Hat Company in PFI Town. And choose from the best brands of clothing and accessories for the entire family. PFI, located on Highway 65 at the Battlefield exit in Springfield. And I'm not kidding. This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. I'm Darcy Gallagher. I am a graduate student with the Agriculture Education Department at Kansas State University. I was um, invited to come speak today at the conference. I sent in a proposal last fall um, thinking this was just a, a great opportunity to share my story and to network and reach out to other young women and all women in the agricultural industry. Um, I wanted to share my personal stories of how I balance working school, um, working full time and farming on, on the weekends and then I want to be able to encourage others that they can do the same thing as well. Um, some of my personal experiences, um, they just include a lot of diversity. Diversifying myself to make myself applicable in a lot of different areas. Um, working, working to help others and uh, working on a schedule. Um, some other challenges I include just stereotypes. Um, we as women are just genetically dispositioned different um, from our male counterparts and we bring a lot of unique uniqueness um, and qualifications with the differences that we have. Um, some of them that we did talk about were you know size and uh, you know power and ability um, through our physical strength but that in, that in turn uh, makes us more more creative in how we get things done, and so we think in a different way than our males, than our male counterparts do. Uh, hard work through determination will get you where you want to be. Never let others discourage you, whether it is, um, it's outside or inside effects. Um, do what you want to do. Believe in yourself and dream and work hard to get there. The new Better Horses Network is worldwide. Presented by Lucas Oil. Featuring worldwide radio and TV with iconic hosts like Al Dunning, Sharon Camarillo, Ernie Rodina, Lindy Birch, and Craig Cameron. With American Cowboy, Horse and Rider, Brushy Creek, Cavenders, and Ride TV. Worldwide radio and TV. The all new Better Horses Network. I'm Scott Thelman, and this is Juniper Hill Farms. Even though my parents weren't farmers, they bought this beautiful farm north of Lawrence in 1999. In 2010, I started growing vegetables on this land. Today, Juniper Hill Farms sells produce to wholesalers, grocers, and restaurants, and is focused on growing high-quality food that everyone can afford. Watch my story and the stories of other young Kansas food producers at kansaslivingmagazine.com slash meetafarmer. What does a brighter, more sustainable future look like in our cities and towns, and how do we get there? When New York needed an alternative fuel source to reduce carbon emissions, the city found what it needed in biodiesel made from U.S. soybean oil. Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Lyons from Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center here in Manhattan, Kansas. Daryl was one of our patients that we did about seven months ago. I dug trees by hand for years and years and years. In the process, I wore out my rotary cuff. But when I learned about this process, I thought if there was a way to get rid of this pain, then I, then I wanted to do it. So we did it and it worked. I'm not going to go out and take trees with a shovel anymore, but then I can do the things that I want to do now. Well, it's been very gratifying to help people with their painful joints and other uh, entities, and it's been especially gratifying to be able to help people who I know and have worked with and known for many years.
This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. So my name is Margie geiler Elanese, and I had the pleasure of speaking today at the Women Managing the Farm Conference. And I'm here to share my story uh, as it relates to farm her. So uh, rewind five years ago, I was fresh off a career in corporate agriculture. I worked in crop insurance for a, a very large crop insurance company in the corporate department. And I had been uh, climbing that corporate ladder and it was, it was time to make a change in my life. And so uh, I left that career and didn't know what I was gonna do. And it turns uh, out, I found out fairly quickly um, the Super Bowl was on the weekend after I left, and a commercial call, uh, by Ram Trucks uh, set to a speech by Paul Harvey called God Made a Farmer. Uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was inspiring. It was amazing. It, it changed my life, I can tell you that, which you can't say about a commercial very often. But I, I didn't think anything really of it other than how beautiful it was when I first saw it. Uh, and then a couple weeks later, I read an article that pointed out... Uh, that was beautiful, but where were the women? And you know, you have to look really hard to find the women in that commercial. But the article went on to tell me that 30% of producers in the U.S. are women, and um, you know that hit me. And I thought, okay, what can I do instead of being frustrated about this? What could I do to help change the image of what a farmer is? Because we all know that women are very actively involved, and so. Uh, I decided I could start a photo project and call it Farm Her, and I started going to farms and photographing women, mostly in 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 and around central Iowa, and um, showing what those women did every day on a crop farm or a produce farm or goat dairy or uh, a flower farm, you name it, like all these different types of operations. and. Uh, I started social media pages. I put out a very basic website, a blog, and boom, Farm Her was born. And so the ball has kept rolling over the last few years. I now have the opportunity to share my story with people on our TV show that airs on RFD TV on Friday nights. Uh, we have a podcast. We have a radio show. Uh, we have events for women in agriculture. We sell merchandise. So we have so many different ways to connect with women and help them connect with each other uh, over their love of agriculture. And so that, that's what Farm Her is. There, there is one of me. I can't take pictures of every woman in this room. There's 250 women plus in this room. I can't go to all these farms. So I'm also going to share with them some ways that they can share their own story, starting with uh, what's in most of our back pocket and that is you know your phone and uh, you can take great pictures with your phone and I'm gonna tell people some tips on ways to do that uh, we have our phones with us everywhere so take it with you take pictures of your life you know open that up if you want to start a social media page just for your farm and for that story you can you can sell, share on your own page Starting a blog is a super easy thing and you don't have to be a professional writer to do it. But it is a great way and it's, it's a way that I have started this journey. Uh, there's free blogging websites out there. You know, you can share the pictures through that. You can share words through that. Um, you know, blogging and social media is are really the best ways to start putting your story out there. And for me, for me, as a photographer, it all starts with those pictures. And so I always tell people, like, if you don't like the way your pictures look today, keep taking them. Keep taking more of them and more and more and more. And I promise they will get better um, and, and more uh, what you hope to show. And if you're showing something that you're passionate about, you're going you're gonna to have a big leg up from the start. So if you're passionate about your farm and you're passionate about your family, get your camera out and take those pictures. So we have not featured, a, I have not photographed in Kansas. We have not video, uh, videoed for our t TV show here in Kansas yet, but we will at some point because our goal is to make sure that we cover women across the nation. And so if you are interested in being on our show or being a subject of my photography or somebody you know, maybe your grandma, your sister, your cousin, your best friend, whoever it is, you can sign up on our website at www.farmher.com just right there on the main page, it says suggest to farm her. And there's a form you can fill out and tell us all about her. And I always say brag because the more information that we have to, to see her story up front or your story up front, the, the more excited we are to, to get to your farm. So please do share your story. And, and that might be us visiting to take pictures and video, but it might also mean 
being on the podcast. So, so uh, that is the way that we find out about people. So definitely go to farmhair.com and sign yourself up. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.